In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to set up and start some basics for presentation, which is a form of PowerPoint. First of all, as you can see, I'm in my drive and I'm going to go to create and I'm going to choose presentation. Now the first thing it's going to ask is to choose a theme. Now you can come back to this if you don't want to do it right away, but I'm going to choose a theme. Hit OK. And there are many themes to choose from. Now one thing I like when I'm doing a presentation or PowerPoint is I don't like to have these templates already set up. I would prefer to have a blank slide. So I'm going to go up here to adding new slide, but instead of hitting that where it's going to give me the same type of template, I'm going to go to the little arrow right next to it and click on it. And it says I want a blank one. I'm going to go back to the first one and I'm going to hit delete and take that out. So now I have blank ones and then I'm going to just add by right clicking and just say duplicate slide and I'm going to make a few slides. And that's how I begin to set up my PowerPoint. Now realize if I didn't see the outline here I wouldn't know which slide I was on because they all look the same at this point. The last thing I'd like to show you in this tutorial and just beginning to basically set it up is to get a picture in here. All I need to do is take the picture that I have on my desktop and drag it on. And there's the picture and I can resize it any way I want. I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller. I can move it around. I can also, if I put my mouse right up on there, I can turn it a little also any way I want. So I can put a picture in there and I can come back again and move it around if I'd like or straighten it out. And the other thing I would like to do is add a text box. So I'm going to go up to insert and click on text box and then put my mouse where I think I would like it. And one thing in any PowerPoint or presentation, you should always uh, make it at least a minimum of 36 font size to 40. Otherwise, it can't be seen very well. So I'm going to make that larger. I can type in there and I can also change the color. So I'm going to make it a brighter color so it stands out. And click off. Now I can come back and again I could also turn this if I want. Uh, or I can move it around just by grabbing hold of it and putting it wherever I want. So this is the basics of how you would set up and start a PowerPoint presentation. This ends this tutorial.